Hello beautiful people. So I'm on my holidays today and I'm back at the ancient beech tree. Three months later, if you look back, you will find a couple of videos, one called the Fairy Hall and one about a beech tree. After I've posted this, I'll put this on the community pages. But today, I have brought the lyre, the ancient Greek lyre, made out of naturally shed ram's horn, and 3D printing. This is wood, not tortoise. And it is a replica of an instrument pulled out of a tomb in ancient Greece. So this would have been about 2500 BC. These instruments would have been played. And this was made by a company out in Greece called Lutheros. And I will put their name in the show notes. They have many amazing instruments. But I thought that we would just come to this beautiful old witch's tree today and just strum a few rhythms. I have the crystal plectrums that I use, red jasper, my favourite, and blue lace agate, and I do have another shiva shell. But let's just see what happens. So I'm coming just to talk about the life of this amazing tree behind us an ancient beech tree who in Celtic lore is called Phagos and these trees were the first trees in Northern Europe that books were made from Phagos and the symbol is a straight line with a, a hook in Celtic Reiki, so I send that into you now. And her arms, when they were long, would have reached the floor, and she would have been shelter. Beech nuts would have been shed for humans, possibly animals to eat. And she was once the consort of the Oak and the Holly Kings. This one over here from the side has a witch's nose. I'll take a photograph from the side so that you can see and attach it to the cover of this video. But her heart has completely fallen out. Look how big she is. When I visited about three months ago to this churchyard, a burnt out ruined church in Devon, King Arthur country. It was lush, it was green, it was the beginning of summer. We've now had three months of drought. The trees are shedding their leaves because they are in stress. The rains are coming, but we have not had enough. So I just want you just to relax now and just ground yourself, feeling the energy of the Fargos, this queen, this guardian of the graveyard and she would have been here a long time before this was a church ground. 
if you go back and look at one of the earlier videos about May time, called the Fairy Hall, you will see the ancient church of about a thousand years old. Down in the valley is Buckfast Abbey, a Benedictine Abbey where I am staying. But what a difference as the wheel turns and the seasons change, there's the bleating of a lamb. Oh, and a little, a little downy feather has just floated past. Now it's not white, but surely this is a sign of fairy or angel. This place is certainly hallowed ground. So it's early on a Saturday morning. And I've tuned this to a new mode. It's called river mode. dart flowing past my hotel window and I don't mind telling you it was so loud last night that I couldn't sleep because I'm not used to it I'm used to a suburban environment so let's just pick this up now and let's think of the life of this beautiful tree behind me how it would start with a beech nut. And as the rains fell and the sun shone out, the beech nut splits open and roots, white roots grow out and reach into the earth below. And then a stalk emerges and rises above. And then leaves appear. And it grows bigger. And the rains continue to fall. push downward and the branches reach upwards and the seasons move round.
winter turns to spring. And spring turns to summer. And summer turns to fall. And fall turns to winter. And the seasons move and change again. The tree grows stronger and stronger and stronger and fatter and fatter and fatter. And she grows more regal and her arms reach the ground. And then her roots start to snake, which is where the folklore of snakes and serpents come from with beech trees. <laughs> of the land in place and holding space for us today to be sitting here listening to the wind whispering listening to the birds and the children cry and play. Reminding us that whatever happens in our lives, whatever tragedies we have and we go through, life ticks on around. 
New souls are born, new memories are made, but the same experiences help all of us, the collective human, to grow and have experiences and learn. And even though it seems at the moment that humanity may have lost its way a bit, as indeed my father would have said, and his father would have said, and his father would have said, some things like this tree stand and stay the same. She may yet drop her leaves in stress, as a lot of trees are doing. But then she'll go into rest early and just recalibrate when the next cycle of energy and the moons shift around. these ancient instruments will stay solid, will stay the same, even if they drop a little limb, another one will grow and another path will open as the roots, the snake roots will search for a way and you too will find that way. of your body. And I thank you for joining me today. I had no idea what we were going to do, but I wanted to play for this marvellous specimen of a beach that has stood the test of time, even with her heart collapsed, pulled out. You have the strength. You have the courage if you just give yourself a chance. Recalibrate, hide under your bed covers for a day or two. And know that you are loved by that tree, that plant that you go and sit under in the park by some people who don't even know you here on this channel. Just look at the comments of support that I see other people giving each other. 
and the Reiki Dreams tribe. Love and light to you, my friends. From the Fagos in Buckfast, in Devon, the land of the Arthur and the Merlin of Albion. <laughs>